challenge yourself and take a Practical Life Institute class. Take a class such as Trusting God in Hard Times, Colossians, Against the Tide, Christian Ethics, and Fully Embracing Your Identity in Christ offer great opportunities to grow in your knowledge of God with other brothers and sisters. You may register today at the Welcome Center or online at practicallife.org, goodshepherdbaptist.org, and click the Practical Life banner or in the app. Join us at Practical Life Institute. For more information, see Dr. Audrey Todd, Director of Educational Ministries. Youth Bible study has begun. Battle ready. From pre-K to 12th grade, all are invited. For more information, see Deacon Annie Mickens. Daniel 7 and 27 says, Then the sovereignty, power, and the greatness of all kingdoms under the heaven will be given to the holy people of the Most High. His kingdom will last forever, and all rulers will serve and obey him. All members and friends, Bible study has resumed, and we are excited to continue with the theme, Destination Dominion. Join us and discover a God-centered purpose, a global influence, and solution-based change. Good Shepherd will be the guest of the following churches. Shiloh Baptist Church, 106 South James Street, Ashland, Virginia, for their Men's Day service. Saturday, October 27th at 12 p.m. Bishop only, but all men of the church are invited to join him. Union Branch Baptist Church, Chesterfield, Wednesday, October 31st at 7 p.m. Pleasant Grove Baptist Church, Prince George, Sunday, November 4th at 3 p.m. for their 149th church anniversary. Dinner will be served at 2. Oxford Mount Zion Baptist Church, Ruther Glen, Virginia, Thursday, November 15th at 7 p.m. for their Harvest Revival, Bishop only. Volunteers are needed to assist with the downtown church's feeding on Wednesday, October 31st. Volunteers should arrive at the Hope Center, which is located on Commerce Street in Petersburg, no later than 11.30 a.m. If you have any questions, please see Sister Nell Thomas or Sister Wanda Robertson. Thank you so much to all who helped make our Rebuilding Together outreach such a wonderful blessing. In Hebrews 6 and 10, we find these words, For God is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him and how you have shown your love to him by caring for other believers as you still do. Thank you so much to all who helped make our Rebuilding Together outreach such a wonderful blessing. Good Shepherd is partnering with the City of Petersburg for their annual citywide cleanup to be held on Saturday, November 3rd, beginning at 8 a.m. Good Shepherd will be helping to clean up and beautify Lee Park. If you are interested in joining us, please sign up at the table in the Narthex following service today. Please see Minister Mark Peterson or Audrey Todd for further details. The GSBC Singles Ministry will meet on this Thursday, October 25th at 6.30 p.m. Please plan to attend for more information on singles activities and roundtable discussions. For further information, please contact Sister Shireen Outlaw or Brother Timothy Massenberg of the Singles Ministry. Campaigning for the Kingdom, the Year of the Lord, our year-end retreat will be held on Saturday, November 17th. We ask everyone to make your plans to attend. More details next week. A reminder to all ministries, please see your ministry leaders regarding the start of your roundtable. See Minister Mark Peterson for further details. The Young Adult Small Group Series is back. This small group Bible study will take place at ZOM Korean Grill in Colonial Heights every Tuesday at 6 p.m. through October 30th. No reservations are needed. Just meet us there for food, fellowship, and the opportunity to grow deeper in your faith. For more information, please visit the Welcome Center or see Pastor Angel White. 
prayerfully consider serving. To take advantage of upcoming opportunities to reach out to others, stop by the Welcome Center to pick up a flyer of GSBC Serves Fall Outreach Opportunities. There are several types of items for donation requests. These items vary depending on your last name. Please pick up a GSBC Serves Fall Outreach Flyer from the Welcome Center or the Flyer Kiosk. Donations will be accepted through November 11th. Please place items in the GSBC Fall Outreach Box located in the Narthex. In recognition of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Good Shepherd would like to paint the pews pink on Sunday, October 28th. For our fourth Sunday family focus, we are asking all members and friends to come wearing something pink in memory of loved ones lost, survivors, and those currently fighting the good fight. Join us in this manner in showing congregational support. That's Paint the Pews Pink, Sunday, October 28th, for our fourth Sunday Family Focus. The Women of Purpose, GSBC's Women's Ministry, and the Men of Standard, GSBC's Men's Ministry, is hosting Bowling and Blessings, Saturday, November 10th at 1 p.m. Hello, Hello Good Shepherd. Shepherd. My name is Boris Goodwin with the Men's Ministry. My name is Alice Coleman with the Women's Ministry. We present to you the Bowling and Blessings for 2018. This is the first annual event. The bowling side, we're going to have fun, fun, fun. Good Christian fun bowling at Holiday Bowling Center. This event is for all ages and all skill levels. And now for the blessing side. We're not only bowling for fellowship, we're bowling for a purpose. The purpose of the event is to feed 50 families for Thanksgiving. The proceeds from the GSBC Bowling and Blessing event will be used to purchase food for Thanksgiving to feed needy families within the church and the community. This event represents the GSBC mission of building, building a, a church, church developing, developing a community, community expanding services, services, and impacting lives. This event will take place at Holiday Bowling Center, 11,400 Jefferson Davis Highway in Chester. Good Shepherd will have the entire bowling center for this event. A donation of $20 includes three games and shoe rental. $14 of every participant goes directly to helping families. Teams will consist of four people. Get your own team together or just sign up to be placed on a team. There will be first, second, and third place trophies for the top three teams. In addition to bowling, there will be door prizes as well as 50-50 raffles, with 50% of those funds going towards blessing families. Time is running out. The deadline to submit registration and money is Sunday, October 28th. You may also attend as a spectator. Even if you won't be bowling, donations can be made at the table in the Narthex. For all the information, stop by and pick up a packet at the Bowling and Blessings table located in the Narthex. That's Bowling and Blessings, hosted by the Men's and Women's Ministries, Saturday, November 10th at 1 p.m. at Holiday Bowling Center in Chester. See you there.